Somebody please remind me why I bought a black car. That took forever. But came out pretty clean. Gotta say, it came out clean. I think that took about two hours to wash her. <clears throat> so, anyway, that's it. I'm over it. It's washed. Alright guys, I'm going to attach this video somewhere, I don't know where, by the way, thanks for subscribing, comment, later. Morning guys, YouTube people, world, I'm back, worked my 8 straight days, I'm driving back and forth from LA, Los Angeles, to home, wore out, Ugh. but I do want to say, Having an automatic, having an automatic, oh, sorry for the sun, anyway, having this automatic is pretty awesome, it's a little dusty, a little dirty, I did have to buy new tires, um, I didn't feel comfortable with the tires that were on it, they were kind of baldish, actually they are really bald. So I bought these tires, bought some meat. Um, so these are uh, Yokohama, Yokohama Geolander X CV G057, made in Japan. Um, anyway, I went with these tires because this is a uh, these wheels are. <sighs> Trying to find the stupid size. Anyway, there are 295, 35, 21, which is right here. 295, 35, R21, 107, W, um, extra load. But anyway, so these 21 inch tires are, I didn't have too many options for the 21 inch uh, tires. Um, it kind of, Kind of sucked trying to trying to find some tires uh went to american tire out here in california southern california is called america's tire or american's tire and uh everywhere else it's called discount tire and uh i didn't have too many options yeah america's tire which is also discount tire um yeah so and they were really really expensive um so if you look here if you can if i can get it to work um let me try darkening it up a little bit anyway uh whatever they're uh 200 and 248 dollars a piece 248 bucks a piece so it came out to 992 dollars for the tires they do have a 50,000 mile warranty on them um, that's why I went with this one um, because you guys know I drive a lot I drive a lot of miles uh, I'm just seeing if it if it would start but anyway so I've already put almost 2,000 miles on this in uh, about a week and a half. So, in about, uh, 10, 11, yeah, 10 or 11 days, I already put too many miles on it, um, because I was driving back and forth from L.A. every day. And then, he the, had the big fires, and the big fires hit, and then you had to either go around, which was like four hours to go around, 
Um, so my supervisor ended up sending me up to Bakersfield, California, which is, um, I think, 97 miles or 100 miles. Let's just call it 100 miles each way. So that's 200 miles every day um, since Friday. And uh, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So five days I went 1,000 miles. Which, you know, is not really nothing, but um, it wore, wore me out because, uh, I don't know, I just wore out. I think it was the L.A. traffic that actually wore me out. But driving this Audi with the TDI, so I am getting about 32.6 miles per gallon. Um, I fueled it up about three times. And all three times I went to about a quarter tank and got about 600, 600, one time I got 624 miles to three quarters of a tank, um, from full to a quarter. Um, but anyway, so, and then, uh, while I was driving back and forth to Bakersfield, there's a lot of hills. So, uh, the last couple days because they got this road construction so there's a lot of semi trucks anyways those days um took extra long like two and a half hours to get home and um yeah i was burning a lot more fuel because i was going up the big hills following semis at five miles an hour and i know five miles an hour i shouldn't be burning that much fuel but i was uh passing them a lot so i was on you know, heavy in the gas, heavy on the pedal, um, and so for the last, the last fuel up that I got, which was traveling back and forth to Bakersfield, I did the math, and it was, uh, about 28 miles per gallon was my average per that tank, um, but anyway, overall, love it, I did change the oil midweek, um, I think it was Sunday because traffic was light in LA. So I changed the oil. Oil was, man, this nasty, nasty oil, man. Um, it's almost as nasty as when I was taking this engine out. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I changed the oil. It took 10 quarts of oil I'm using this here Motul 5W30. Because of that right there, that VW 504-00 slash 507-00. So I can only find three, three companies that sell this stupid 507-00. Uh, I don't know if it's an additive. I don't know what it is. But anyway, um, it has to be Volkswagen diesel specific oil. Uh, otherwise, it'll clog up the diesel particulate filter, and, but anyway, so I ended up buying four gallons of it, uh, for like 160 bucks, I think it was, four gallons, and I bought three oil filters for it. Um, anyway, I changed the oil, it's kind of a, it's kind of a dirty process. Um, you know, the filter's on top, that's no big deal, the filter just, you know, unscrew the thing, you pop the filter out, throw it on, throw it in the pan. Then the bottom, you gotta take this whole shield off, so it's six, six screws, or maybe it's uh, eight screws. So it's six T20 uh, torque screws in the front, and then two bolts, 10 millimeter bolts. They're probably actually like nine and a half millimeter bolts or something stupid, but I used a 10 millimeter. And then the drain plug is right in the center, but it sits. So when I drained it, you unscrew the drain plug, it hits the frame rail and then fans out. So it just fans out. So that's why I got this kind of a little mess right here. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to look into a Fumoto. It's one of the Fumoto uh, quick oil drain things. Um, 
every time I change my fourth gen, I keep forgetting that I have it. But uh, it's one of these. One of these deals. I don't know if you can see it. Let me try to open it real quick. It doesn't even want to open. So I'll have to tear it open. Anyway, it's this deal. So you screw it in to your oil pan. And then you... It's just a little check ball. A little ball valve. And you flip it like this. And you open it. Anyway, they make uh, they make one for this car. And I had these. I could have used one of these. Oh, live and learn. Um, anyway, they make one for that car that has a spout. And then when you want to change the oil, you stick this little hose on there. You stick a little piece of hose on there. And then flip the valve and drain the oil. So my next oil change, um, I got that in my shopping cart on eBay right now. Uh, so my next oil change, I'm going to be putting one of those on because it was a mess and the oil is nasty, 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 nasty. So anyway, guys, um, that's just an update with the Audi. Um, we're going to go to Ikea today. Uh, wife's going to be in it for the first time since i uh, got new tires on it. And really for the first time because I've only... She's only been in there with the test drive and to the gym and home, which is like five miles away. So, anyway, I'm going to wash it up, clean it, um, and then we're going to take off. So, make sure you guys watch my next video. Um, pre pretty irritated with uh, a purchase I bought. But anyway, I right guess thanks for watching. Make sure you guys uh, give me a like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Um, and let me know what you guys think about the uh, Audi and all the expensiveness it's already cost me. So, alright guys, later.